The two bottom screws holding the bezel to the back cover are not easily removable on this model. So we need to separate the display assembly from the main body prior to removing the bezel screws. Here are the tools that you'll need. First disconnect the power and remove the battery. Flip the laptop over. Use a spudger or a flat end screwdriver to remove the six square rubber screw covers to gain access to the screws. Once you're done, remove eight screws securing the bottom case using the larger screwdriver. Next, loosen the three screws holding the bottom cover. Do not remove them completely, they'll stay with the cover. Use a potty knife to pry open the cover. Set the cover aside. Next, remove two more screws holding the bottom case. Now remove the two screws securing the hard drive. Pull the hard drive out and set it aside. Flip the laptop over and remove the keyboard. Use a potty knife to pry open the panel. Do not remove it completely. Tilt it away from the screen and disconnect it from the motherboard. Pull the connector bracket on one side, then on another. Finally, we can remove four screws holding the back cover. All the screws that we have removed, except the hard drive ones, are the same size, so you can keep them all together. Flip the laptop again and remove the back cover by unsnapping it from the main case. Now we need to separate the hinges from the display. Start on one side, remove two screws holding the bracket and one more small screw. Remove the bracket and set it aside. Disconnect the video cable and reroute it from its channel. Move on to the other side and remove two longer screws. Then remove the bracket and finally one small hinge screw. Do not separate the top part from the bottom one completely. Place it like so. Remove four rubber screw covers and four bezel screws. Now that we have an access to the two bottom ones, go ahead and remove the bezel. Pry open the plastic, starting on one side and moving around the perimeter towards the other side. The final screws to be removed are the frame screws. There are only two on each side. Use a smaller size screwdriver. Once you're done, flip the screen and put it on the keyboard. Remove the tape securing the video connector and pull it straight out. Discard the old panel. Take the new screen out of the protective bag. Place the bag on the keyboard and put the screen on top of the bag to protect it from scratching. You can use a paper towel or a cloth instead. Carefully reconnect the video cable and remember it's extremely fragile. Secure it with the tape. Place the screen to the original position. Make sure to remove the protective film. Replace the four small frame screws. Put the bezel back on. Snap the hinge covers at the bottom first and then go around the perimeter towards the top. Replace the four bezel screws. The bottom right one is kind of tricky. So you have to place the screwdriver in between the hinge cover and the plastic bottom part. Put on the screw covers. Place the laptop on one side. Align the bottom part with the hinge cover and secure it with one small screw. Then place the bracket back and secure it with two longer screws. Pretty much all the screw holes are marked with an arrow, so you won't get confused where to replace them. Now, align the other side with the second hinge and replace one small screw. Put the bracket back and secure it with two longer screws. Reconnect the video cable, reroute it back into its channel and press on it. At this point, you can test your screen. Place it in the usual position, plug the power and turn it on. Startup graphics indicate that the screen is installed correctly and is working. Press and hold the power button to cancel the boot up and disconnect the power. Flip the laptop over and put the bottom case back. Press and snap around the perimeter and on the sides.
Replace the four screws that are located under the keyboard. Then replace the keyboard. First reconnect the cable, slide it into the bracket until the line is not seen and push the bracket on one side and then another to secure the cable. Slide the keyboard in place, then press to snap the rest back in. Flip the laptop upside down and replace the hard drive by sliding it into the connector and replace the two small screws that hold it to the bottom panel. Now replace the two screws securing the bottom case. Snap the cover back in and secure the three screws holding it. Finally, replace the last set of eight screws holding the bottom case. Now replace the six square rubber screw covers. Put the battery back in. Flip the laptop to the usual working position. Reconnect the power and all done.